What is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Agrarian Skies, the modded Skyblock Survival. I have been busy. That's right. As you can see, my jetpack now has armor on it, uh, giving me quite a bit more armor than what I had. Uh, it acts as, I believe, in diamond armor. So, I'm getting set up. Let me show you guys what I've been up to. Uh, I've been disenchanting all the enchanted armor I was getting from my uh, mob tower. So, I've been building me up a collection of just different enchantments on all my different armor. Uh, You know, I've be as you saw last time. You know, I wanted to build a tree, so I'm still doing that right now. Uh, I've got three, the like five or six branches I'm adding onto it. Let's go up and take a look. You know, it's coming along. Uh, I'm liking it, but eventually. Uh, the, all the branches will be covered in leaves and right here in the center I'm going to build me a little uh, tower house as long as well as build up inside the tree um, as you can see my reactor is a little bit bigger uh, I want wanted to put out more energy see if I can build up a reactor that can keep that constantly going so far not even with five fuel rods have I been able to running at full it still drains it r fairly quickly but not as quick as just one fuel rod uh, I also have the ability to put out over 7,000 flux per tick which is great because what we plan on doing next is applied energistics uh, building us up a computer uh, I've stopped making soul sand because I've almost got 64 stacks of it and that was just running it mainly in passive mode because I needed some more redstone and diamonds so I've been running dust and gravel uh, my chest over here I've upgraded a lot of my chests Ooh, it's about time to uh, stop that let's go right there and let me turn off my other one I actually doubled up on my system because running with four sieves one pulverizer could not keep up uh, I had to do another one, and you know, it does great because I can now, you know, produce some soul sand when this one, this pulverizer right here, you know, creates the offshoot of sand. That'll go into this system, whereas my front one, when it produces sand, it'll actually go into the obsidian chest here um, I'll show you that in just a second um, the obsidian chest you know has been filling up with sand as you can see but that's just running off of one pulverizer constantly running gravel into the system so I'm just going to kind of let this run and run out all these before I start these back up going back down here I haven't changed anything and I've had no issues whatsoever there you go and I really haven't been running anything in my auto spawner at the moment uh, primarily because 
I've just been wanting to build up resources uh, because, like I said, I want to get into applied energistics. And I went ahead and made, measured out and made everything I would need to get a full-on system going. Uh, and that's what I plan to do today with you guys. So I'll need that, 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 probably that. And then, okay, that's it for right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go build the processing core where it completely automates just about everything for you. Uh, three things you'll need. Okay, four things. You'll need the ME assembler containment wall. That's going to be the framework right here of our whole system. So let me munch down on some potatoes real quick, get that health back up. You know, I was kind of doing some research, and I wanted a big system, um, just because I wanted the processing power to do everything I wanted, which is pretty much automate my life on here, uh, everything from crafting recipes to read building more parts for its own system I ha I've been thinking about it and I have some great ideas for how I'm going to set up an overall system so right now I'm just kind of laying the cornerstones of this so I know where exactly I'm building to when I take out all this clay in there and I use clay because it's something I had extra in my inventory and it's also really easy to break so what I've decided you know the base floor where my bed is now um, that is actually where all the crafting terminals and access terminals are going to be. Uh, I will have a staircase coming down to here because I'll need to be put put patterns into this main box that I'm going to be building right now as soon as I clear it out. So there we go. But, oh, no. I'll have to get that in just a second. No. Oh, I'm horrible at placing blocks today. Don't break it. Okay, good. But I, I decided to go with a 6x6 six six system, or 6x6x5. Six by six by uh, that'll give me plenty of room for my 25 processors plus my 23 pattern providers so that'll give me 23 spots to put pat crafting patterns and everything else so I plan to do a lot of pattern making uh, everything from how to make rubber to every aspect of making the next upgrade chips that I will need for more memory, uh, more space, more computers themselves, because I will be setting the system up with wireless access so that anywhere on my base I'll be able to access at least a system uh, I plan to have one system specifically f just for bees, which we will be getting into real shortly. I This is one of the first things I wanted to get set up, is my core processing. Be 
because get mining, get bleh, get waiting for all those resources, getting everything together, crafting each individual piece can be very tedious. Uh, making everything for the ME system, I was just kind of blown away on how much or how many resources this actually eats up. Ooh. Okay, yeah, just enough. So, we're going to put my heat vents over here. And we're going to throw in my crafting CPUs. Uh, when building this, the, as you can see, the entire interior has to be filled. Uh, you can't leave a single space air block, otherwise it just won't work. And my 23 pattern providers. And what I'm doing is shift clicking there. Now let's put my last 12 in. And voila, there we go. There is our crafting CPU for applied energistics. Um, let's go. Okay, what? Well, what you specifically need is the pattern provider. Oops. Uh, and what this does is it holds all your patterns for your computer system to be able to craft for you. Um, what that takes, a crafting table, four iron ingots, two conversion matrices, a storage cell, and an advanced processor. Now, you know, we've you've already seen me, I believe, make advanced processors, but to go back, it's a pro advanced processor assembly in a furnace or something to cook it will make an advanced processor. But the assembly is made with a diamond, silicone, redstone, and a quartz cutting knife. Um the quartz cutting knife is two quartz, iron, and two sticks. Real simple. Um, and then silicone. I went through a lot of rubber trees. I set that up in my auto tree farm uh, to get the raw rubber to make plastic. And I'm going to tell you, I still need more of these. Uh, you need an insane amount of raw plastic for this mod. Next, you'll need the containment wall. Oops. Get out of that. I was AFK, put myself in creative mode to let my resource farm build up. I didn't want to worry about hunger. I had to go to the store. So, all right. Containment wall is some Certus Quartz, four gold ingot, and an iron ingot. And that's what the corners, the shell of the computer is. Uh, then you got your heat vents, which is iron bars four iron ingots and an ME cable. Iron bars, you know, is just six ingots, but you get 16 bars, so you can do a whole bunch. Ooh, sounds like a storm. So, okay, heat vents. And then ME cables is a lot of flux dust and either glass 
or again raw plastic um, I believe I went with glass with most of mine but I built me up a couple stacks worth so I'm pretty much set on ME cable for now and then you also need the crafting CPU which is four iron ingots two certus quartz and two glowstone dust that we have gotten in our system um, and an advanced processor we've already looked at how the advanced processor is made but on the next episode I believe I will be showing you know all the patterns to almost everything I'll need for applied energistics and let's see yeah and those those four blocks are what you would need to create this now it's raining outside what I was thinking is I'm actually going to put my main system throw those out right up in here I'll just need one ME cable coming from any part of this system right here and I'll be able to hook up to it Okay. So, let's grab that. Now I want my crafting terminal, my controller, my ME drive, and my crafting monitor. The access terminal uh, is just like the crafting terminal except you can't craft you just get a bigger view of what's in the system I plan to put this actually down at the big terminal itself and then my storage uh, I built quite a few of these and I'm going to use these so I can upgrade to the 16k and I'm going to set up a system to where it's going to know how to craft each individual item. Uh, whether it has it or not. Like making silicone. I don't have a lot of silicone in my reserves right now. I think I may have a couple. Um, but I do have the raw rubber so I'm going to teach the system how to make silicone which I'll show in the next episode uh, I've seen a few tutorials on applied energistics this is going to be my first time messing with it so I'm excited uh, from what I've seen you can do a lot with it so I'm looking forward to that. First, let's go ahead. I don't know why I went all the way around. Let's go ahead and put it right here. No. No. You know what? I guess we'll go right here. Bam. And then we'll go up. Oh, one more thing I need to grab is a tesseract. Because my tesseract is hooked up to my reactor for all my power needs as we've gone over in a previous episode so let's take this 
throw my tesseract in the middle energy and we'll configure it so that all it receives is energy receive only and then we'll put our ME controller right there let's put our ME drive right next to it and go ahead and throw my 1k in there next um, let's go ahead and put our crafting terminal no crafting monitor and then our crafting term <coughs> excuse me crafting terminal that'll let us know what all we have in the system so okay in synchronized mode it automatically turns this for you that's good there we go we have the start of our computer system set up um, I'm thinking of adding go down here and show you because I made quite a few export and import buses and storage buses as well as I completed the quest speaking of which before we finish up let's go ahead and do a few things I went ahead and made my artificial hive and seeds uh, because I, w I really want to get into the bees I'm really looking forward to that okay and now for the hoarding uh, digital storage which was crafting terminal controller drive 1k storage and precisions uh, import and export bus so we'll claim that and because I went ahead and already made my large system we are going to be getting some more reward bags a yellow heart canister Ooh, and four more interfaces which I could use a ton of right now um, okay those are full so let's go ahead and get those oh yeah I went ahead and made me a golden bag of hoarding it's actually real not too cheap but cheap enough that you know one block of gold four ingots four of any type of wool I just use regular wool and a chest to get a portable bag um, this thing is awesome I can throw everything up in there and it acts just like a bag uh, speaking of bags let's, looks like I've got two greater bags and a good bag we ate the hearts and let's go ahead and add my second heart canister oh yeah uh, can't remember if I said this at the beginning but I went ahead because I know how to make enderium and I have the resources for it I went ahead and made some armor plating Enderium armor plating. Ooh. Which was 10 Enderium Invar. I had to make Tinkers, which is bronze. You know, made the armor iron, had to upgrade it with, you know, bronze, then Invar, all the way up to Enderium. Yeah, 10 Enderium ingots, real expensive. 
but that's all right. Uh, and it, like I said, it gives an armor rating and makes it your jetpack look like, I'm going to guess, Enderium armor. So let's take a look here. Good and a greater. Let's take a look at our good. And some paper with respiration three. Nah, I've had better. And the first uh, greater potion bag of flight. I've got my jetpack, so okay, whatever. And a bunch of colored bricks. So nothing too exciting in the bags today. But I'll definitely put those to use later. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you on the next episode I should have more of my tree done and my applied energistic system uh, I'll start putting a little more into that and we'll work on upgrading my system to the next level so take care you guys yeah.